it was given in all these four there are four types of motors one is basic squirrel cage other one is slip ring other one is d bar other one is double cage first these two are special constructions these two are normal the basic motor is squirrel cage type the basic drawback of a squirrel cage motor it has low starting torque so in all these four which motors have low starting torque this is a starting torque so squirrel cage go to fourth one by adding external resistance in series with the rotor we make high starting torque come into picture that's a slip ring we use them in traction hoist applications so when it comes to slip ring the first one highest starting torque so the top one goes to slip ring motor the bottom one goes to squirrel cage in between these two one should be deep bar other one should be double cage deep bar as the name implies the bar is so deep it has high x2 because the bar is so deep inside it has x2 is very high double cage is not like that double cage has two cages with a air gap in between construction it's called as this air gap will definitely create between outer cage and inner cage the air gap will reduce x2 because it offers reluctance to leakage in the rotor within the rotor so if low x2 means definitely its maximum torque is more high x2 means maximum torque is less because t max is inversely proportional x2 so in these two which has a better maximum d bar so second one belong double cage so second one belong to double cage and third one belong to d bar so d bar basically has high x2 it has less torque maximum first of all if you compare maximums this is belonging to d bar as double cage has better maximum torque this curve belongs to double cage so answer is a